Greetings and welcome to another RV video. Today we're going to do a little bit of a, this is not really an upgrade, it's more of a, a hookup. A very common item in the RV is the little stereo system here. This one has a CD player and radio and an aux in. Careful reading of the manual indicates that there's an aux in on the front but also on the back of that and that's what we're going to work with today. As I have already figured out, there's a small hole here and a small hole there that are hard to see in the dark. Uh, we'll turn on the flash in the uh, next segment here, but there are some convenient little holes. We're just going to remove these four screws here on either side, and this little guy will just pull right out, and we'll have access to the back, which should be two RCA jacks, which we can uh, use for many things. What we're going to do is we're going to connect the output of the audio from the television to the back of this little guy here so that the TV can be blasted over uh, the inside speakers if so desired or use it to listen to music or whatever. So let's get started. Okay, and as suspected, there's aux input left and right, RCA jacks on the back of our uh, Jensen AWM, or is that AVM? I think it's AWM 910. There's a giant uh, uh, nest of wires in here that connect to various things, but all we really care about right now is this. Uh, something that will be possibly covered in a future video is when I replace this Jensen with another unit, which will probably require rewiring everything in here by hand, but uh, there is the little hole right there. We're going to feed an RCA cable down that and plug it into our Jensen here, and then uh, screw the Jensen back into the wall and go over to the TV. See you in a bit. And here we come to the back of the television. Uh, most TVs are Pretty much standard you've got your headphone output which we actually could connect to this but the trick with that is we'll probably uh, mute the speakers on the television it may or may not it doesn't really matter uh, we're not going to use that in this case the usual HDMI and the USB and here is what we care about on the back here the out now on the motorhome television it was a Vizio the output was a toss link in this case, this is just a regular old coaxial, which uh, in most cases you can get away with using a standard RCA cable, which is what we're going to do. And this is what I've purchased on eBay, and this would work in either case, digital to analog audio converter. You just feed the coaxial in there, or the toss link on the other side. You will see regular old right-left outputs, and for power, most TVs have this, USB. And this provides enough power to run the converter. In fact, if you really wanted to get creative, you could possibly attach a USB hub to this. So we're going to connect all this, and I'm going to run our uh, newly run uh, RCA lines that go into the Jensen. And we're going to turn on the TV and see what happens. See you in a bit. And we're back. We have the audio hooked up, and uh, this sweater from Gap is so awesome. I just can't wait to buy more. And a uh, lame ad is running on the TV, but there you go. Uh, one thing I would like to mention after we turn this off and shut this up is uh, please make sure to check the manual for your television because they don't all work the same way. This one fortunately has a capability uh, for how to configure the audio output. Some of these things may have a fixed audio output of a certain format. What you want to do is make sure your TV outputs plain old, you know, PCM uh, digital audio. If it spews out anything else like Dolby Digital that's coming off the antenna and you can't change it, that little cheapy converter box I purchased will not work. You'd have to buy, uh, if there is such a thing, one that would convert Dolby Digital. That um, requires a copyright license and everything, so I'm not sure who makes those other than giant AV home receivers, which would be way out of the scope for what we're doing here. But uh, there you have it. Uh, the nicer the TV is, the more likely you are to have your uh, Dolby output switchable, on or off, PCM, etc. Um, but you can also connect the digital output to other things too, although it's easier to do this straight through the TV. This is an old Western Digital box we have here with its uh, regular AV out and optical, and you could technically connect that into a converter box as well. So, all right, from uh, the musty, dusty, winterized RV, I will see you uh, uh, next time for another video, uh, probably next week, 
and uh, we still haven't done the tour, so the tour will probably be next week's video after we do a little uh, spring cleaning in here, so see you later.